caricature artist who stabbed his boss at Universal Orlando last year was sentenced to life in prison. Frederick Torres was caught on surveillance video chasing Glenn Ferguson through Islands of Adventure, where he then stabbed him several times. Channel 9 Shannon Butler was in court today as Torres was sentenced, and Shannon, he tried to blame Ferguson for what happened. Yeah, Frederick Torres actually took the stand. He asked the judge and begged him for mercy. He seemed to finally, though, show some remorse, but that didn't last long because then he started a rant, a rant that had everyone in the courtroom stunned. He blamed everyone, the state attorney, and including the man he tried to kill. <sighs> Frederick Torres took the stand today asking the judge to go easy on him, and for the first time, he seemed to show remorse. I want to say sorry to you, Glenn. <laughs> but just seconds into him asking for a second chance, he did a 180, blaming the man he tried to kill. I tried to talk it over with them, but they didn't seem to want to talk about anything. They just were kind of egging me on. But The prosecutor was speechless. Torres' sister so upset she had to leave the courtroom. And Glenn Ferguson was so overcome with emotion, the judge had to stop the hearing. Torres' rant didn't help his case. The judge sentencing him to life behind bars. And I, 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 I had a remarkably, I thought, a remarkably difficult decision to make today until Mr. Sor Torres spoke. It's, it's difficult for me to understand that somebody in his position can take an oath and blame what happened on self-defense after we all watched a chase around the entire a theme park of you. The courtroom on both sides erupted when the sentence was handed down. Ferguson now saying he will continue to try to get his life back. Having closure is a good first step. A psychiatrist was on the stand today saying that Torres suffered abuse as a kid, he even said he has signs of PTSD, he said that is the only thing that might explain this rage. But the judge had 100 letters from people asking that the judge put Torres away for life. The judge said he had never seen something like that before. We are live tonight in Orlando. Shannon Butler, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.